G'day everyone. Today I'd like to talk about something that's truly revolutionized the way I manage my notes and personal knowledge. I'm talking about Obsidian, an app that's become my favorite for creating notes of all sizes and types, but even more impressively is the speed at which you can work when you incorporate templates into your workflow. These templates are perfect for adding repeated content or modular sections to your note, but one specific feature I'm particularly fond of using the templates function for is callouts. They help summarize, highlight, or even make a note or section stand out. The best part is that the callouts are collapsible, so you can just keep a thin banner with a title reminding you of the nature of the error or giving you an essential warning. And trust me, your future self will thank you for these. Now, you might be wondering, how do you enable the templates plugin? Well, I'm about to show you. So here's the Obsidian interface. First, you want to create a templates folder. Feel free to name it anything you want. I've simply named mine templates. Next, you want to go down to the settings cog in the bottom left, go down to core plugins, and then scroll to the very bottom, and then we have the templates plugin. Mine has been toggled on already, but you just simply toggle this to the left, or to the right as it were. Click on the cog, and then go to the settings folder, and type in the name of the folder you just created. Don't worry if you don't remember what it's called, clicking on this thing here will pull up a list. Now, before you can start using your templates, you need to create them. So, let's show you how. So, to create a template, you create a new note in your templates folder. You can do that by clicking right click on your mouse, and then going new note here and then give it something meaningful. For me, I'm gonna call it call out note. Another way you can do it is to click on the new note function up here. We'll call this one call out TLDR and simply dragging that into the templates folder. Now you don't have to worry too much about the title of the note or the template note. The, uh, the heading of the note is more for your reference. It doesn't get imported into the body of the note when you call that template up. Now to actually insert a call out as part of our template fun function here, we wanna press Control and P to bring up our command palette and type in call out. That will bring up the insert call out button. From here, you can see that we've got a arrow, a exclamation mark inside square brackets with the word note title and contents. So let's give this note a handy title like this is a note and we'll give the body of the note a handy reference like uh, this is the body of a note and from there you can see it turns into this fancy flyout. Now you can actually perform this manually I'll just demonstrate that. So as you can see in our code block here, code blocks are done by doing three back ticks. You put a, a simple arrow or a, you put a simple arrow or greater than symbol followed by square brackets, just like when you're doing a link, but only one set, and an exclamation mark, and then the name of the, the type of image that you'd like displayed here. And then you put the title, followed by the body of the note. Now, a really cool thing you can do here is actually nest callouts inside each other. So if we were to do a nested callout here, go like this, push space, push another carrot in, do a square bracket and go uh, note again. And then we'll go, this is a nested note, and this is the body of the nested note. And that's how the syntax of that would look. Let's just copy and paste that out into a different body. And as you can see, it's created a note with a call out inside the note, which is very handy. Now, there's many other images that you can use. So let's shift over to our call out TLDR window. We'll just paste our uh, nested note from before and we'll just delete that out. Now, you see that it says note here. We can change that to TLDR. This is the title of a TLDR note. I'll call out, this is the body of a TLDR. And that has a different image here. So that's pretty cool, huh? Well, there's actually a bunch of other notes or callouts that we can do inside our templates. And uh, I'll just go over them really quickly right now. So here's the ones that we've seen so far, which is the note and the TLDR. But you can also do the to-do, which is a you know to-do item. You can usually use this as a Hemingway bridge or something. A Hemingway bridge being something that describes why you're excited about a topic and why you should revisit it. And you've got tips, items for success, as in, if you are running a project out of Obsidian, and there's some really cool projects, plugins that uh, that work inside Obsidian. You can also add callouts for questions. These are interesting things that are meant to evoke the, the thought process in your mind or, or call back a reason or any additional work that needs to be done on this note. Then you've got warnings, such as don't poke the bear. You've got failures, which could indi indicate a, a step that might break or a reason that a step didn't work in the series of notes and might indicate to you that you need to go back and update it. I would actually use a tag like incomplete as part of that to, to reference why or a, an indication to your future self to go and revisit the note. The danger note indicates that this could cause danger or harm. Don't poke the bear. You could have bugs in the process. So things that indicate um, 
uh, an, a cause of failure or something like that. You know, if there was lines on the printed paper, you could go and check that. Or if the uh, notches on a specific cut caused problems, that would also be a reason to go and revisit that. And then there's also examples where you could uh, detail some other future thing that you've done there. Finally, there are quotes. Here we have a quote that's calling out that Richard Feynman was talking about with the thinking process and how thoughts are elaborated on pieces of paper and it's paper that actually enables the thought process and that's paraphrasing a little bit but it's a, it's a very poignant uh, piece about about thinking and that my friends is a brief tutorial on how to enhance your obsidian note-taking experience using templates and callouts in conclusion the use of templates to create modular entries can rapidly accelerate your use of the software Templates can level up your note taking, making it easier and quicker to output consistent, meaningful notes, a real superpower in the workplace. Using templates as a level up function for your callouts can help you quickly pick the right callout for the occasion. Maybe with enough practice, using Markdown will be quicker. But for now, pre-framed callouts in a template quickly added with my hotkey, which is Control-Alt-T, make the process faster and more effective. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Stay tuned.